Ah. Yes, sir. Adrian Nice. Malvin out. Back at it again. Today, I'm with a new guest. Who am I here with today? Wow, yo, what up? It's NNBC's straight out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Captain of the Carolina Space Kid. This dope collective of rappers, videographers, fashion designers, camera people, man. It's just going down. A whole creative collective. Nah, that fucks with that. So Greensboro in the building today. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Today we are in Charlotte, North Carolina at IMU Studios, right in the Music Factory, right beside the Fillmore. Today, like I said, we have a new guest. How you feeling today, man? Yeah, it's feeling good. Good? Project out. We're out here cooling. <laughs> we definitely going to talk about your project. Um, but before we get to that, I kind of want to let the people know a little more about you. Um, are you born and raised in Greensboro? Did you move there? Born and raised? Yeah, born and raised. Dang. Added on me. Everything. That's what's up. You know, um, nowadays it's kind of rare to find, like, people who've born in act the actual cities. You know, we have so many people coming from New York, Atlanta, Florida. It's a whole mix. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Talking to my <laughs> He said a lot. A lot from New York? Yeah, a lot from New York, man. Right, right, right. How do you feel about, like, the mix you feel it's good for our area or bad yeah, or that's nah, cool you get a whole bunch of different sounds like even right. people from overseas they bring even a whole different type of sound right. to it. like it's cool to go out and listen to what everybody's doing you right. not just gonna get one type of sound here in greensboro no i agree i agree and then let's see greensboro who's like has anybody like mainstream wise blown from greensboro uh, artist wise, yeah, or, or who so, would you but... say is like the closest to who's popping in your city? Basically, I know Lil Malik. Shout out Lil Malik. Lil Malik. That nigga been going crazy, going crazy for years since I was in high school, mm. bro. Um, who else from the borough? Rapping wise, I don't really know. We don't get that much light, especially right. when it comes to Main Street, because we got a lot of people that's doing their thing. Mm, right, a lot got... of people from like Winston. Too. I'm about to say, you feel me? It's it's a lot going on, but nobody really cross that line to where everybody's like, oh, wow, let me see what Greensboro is doing. Right. Y'all got Winston there. I mean, Raleigh not yeah. too far. And then, you know, Charlotte not too far either. Yeah. Greensboro's really like in the middle, to be yeah, honest. It really is. That's dope. So then we got you. You might fill that void. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying <laughs> to be that one. <laughs> right. What do you think it takes to, like, go to that mainstream level? I think it's really, like, not more like it's really the talent for sure. You gotta have mm. talent, but you gotta be able to outwork everybody. Mm, you gotta be able to go and make these connections. Everybody not too worried about making because it's all important at the end of the day. Mm. Like some people stop short or they reach a point and they're like, I don't really gotta do too much more. And there's always something you can do. That's a fact, right? Because the world never stops growing. Yeah. There's always new information, so you always gotta keep learning. You gotta make that shit fun too, right? Some people don't even like doing music. Like, they've been doing music five years, and now they feel like it's a job. Damn. That's, just, that's just crazy. I don't ever want to take the fun out of music. This is what I love to do. Right. Yeah, I hear a lot of people say, um, well, a lot of them say it's, like, therapeutic, too. Do you yeah. find it therapeutic in a way also? Yeah. Once you got a lot of shit on your head, you can go to the studio and let all of that shit out. Well, and you don't even got to say it all the time. Sometimes I make beats, too, so sometimes oh, it comes shit. out in a beat. Damn. Yeah. Do you produce your beats or do you work with yeah. pro other producers too? I got a couple of mine, but I definitely work with like DJ Day Day, Blase Don, like them some people that help me make beats, like taught me shit that I ain't even know about. Mm. Yeah. What, um, let's talk about your recording process. So like, um, are you type of artist to already have music uh, written out or do you punch in? Are you freestyling? Are you like? I'm you? definitely more of a punching artist. Like I try to write, and it's right. in my notes. You'll see me write the first two bars of a song, and then after that, it's just moving too fast. I got to get that shit out. Do you do you think you can write a song? Like if it came down to it, or yeah, I, I've written songs before, but okay. really the only time I had to write a song was when like somebody else was rapping, and I'm about to get on the song. So while they're rapping, I'm just right. writing what I'm about to do. Go in there five minutes, knock it out. Which do you feel like? Um, which has the better result? Punching in or like free it. I like punching in. Punching in. You just do random shit sometimes, and you you don't get to plan it out, and it just happens. Like you randomly make a certain note <laughs> or some shit you weren't expecting to do. You like, oh, yeah, keep that. Damn. Okay. 
And how does, for people who don't know, like, how does punch, what is punching in and, like, how does it work exactly? It's basically, like, instead of hitting play and recording the whole verse, I'll say a couple of bars. I'll say one or two bars, stop, listen to it, and then say a couple more bars. Sometimes it's, it's like I'll do a whole song, but I'll just be stopping with every bar. Right. So, like, you do a bar or two, and then you think yeah. about... Yeah, sometimes I don't even or really think just, about no. it. I'm just tweaking how I want that bar to sound. Like, that's it'll hard, be cool, though. but I want it to be perfect. That's hard. Who are some uh, musical influences, like, you look up to rap music wise? Um, of course, everybody in the Carolina Space Kids. Like, I don't even think they really understand that, because we be <laughs> so cool, and we hang out with each other. But, like, Billy Peso, yeah. TVMA, Fresco from 34, like... Apex, like all them guys like that, that's what really inspired me to make music. Cause I can see you really can do this shit. Y'all hard too, cause y'all be everywhere. Yeah. They, keep, they keep niggas outside. <laughs> and, and it's not even like y'all be mobbing too. Like uh, uh, when y'all be performing and everything, it'd be a crowd of y'all in that motherfucker bouncing, jumping, all of that. That's, that's what one, I do. Yeah, that's one of the things we definitely wanted to make sure we had with this whole collective too. And let's talk about the collective a little more. So you said it's like artists in there, producers, photographers, videographers. Um, how did it come about? And like, how did y'all meet kind of? Just give us like the story. Uh, for me from at what least, you know. yeah, I was about to say, for <laughs> my side of the story at least, uh, DJ Dayday is one of the first people that I met. Like DJ Dayday and Billy Peso, I was just okay. out doing shows. I was trying to really figure out how to get on a show. I would buy mm -hmm. tickets to shows and ask people like, hey, I could go back there and see what y'all doing. Like, I'll fuck with the DJs and shit like that. He's one right. of the DJs that let me come back there and fuck with them. And he was telling me shit about doing shows. He's like, oh, if you really trying to rap and you are, we could do something. And then mm -hmm. I'm rapping, Peso get on the song, we get back to it. And Peso, that's really my dog too. Right. He's one of the ones that tell me like, I see something in you. Like, we could really make this shit happen, make this shit work. So he, he brought me in. And once I joined, it was already like a couple people in there too. I was surprised. Right. They got a bunch of talent in there. Now, one thing I will say is, like, it's always good to have, like, other people around you that's kind of, like, on the same wave. Because yeah. in a creative space, it can be a lot harder when, you know, you by yourself sometimes. Yeah, they keep me from doing stupid shit, too. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm extra prone to do some dumb shit. Uh, that's hilarious. Nah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Nah, they definitely keep me. What, what's the name of Collective One More Time? Carolina Space Kids. Carolina CSK. Space Kids. Do y'all got any new shows coming up, whether it's them or oh, you? yeah, definitely. DJ Day Day do this show every year. I think it's like his third or fourth year doing it. It's called the Black Hippie Fest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. got his brand, Black Hippie. Right. So every year he get artists to perform. We got That's vendors cool. out there. It's food. It's always a good time. Are you going to pull up to, dang, what's uh, Durag Fest? I think Durag Fest is coming up. I don't really wear Durag, so I'm, I'm I mean, kind of I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm going to just pull up. Give me a right. Durag and say, fuck it. Right. I I think there's so much potential in that festival, but I would like to see some different things happen. But it's a great idea. Great idea. For sure. For sure. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. Idea. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna talk about your project. Yeah. What um but before we do, before we do, let's go to a quick commercial break. Let's go to a quick commercial break. Um, we'll be back. We'll talk a little more about you and then we'll get into your project coming up. Okay? Yeah, stay tuned. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right, we are back. Adrian, nice, uh, mouthing out. Um, so we're back. I want to talk a little bit about your like, what it was like to grow up in Greensboro. What was it like growing up in Greensboro for you? Um, like, talk about the specific part you were in in Greensboro, specific town, whatever, sure. and just uh, what it was like. It was. Some see, cause sometimes it's rough, but sometimes it's cool. Like growing up, it got easier. Cause I was born on the east side, and then I moved to the north side. So going to school and shit, it was regular. Like you just seeing your homies and shit. Once you get to middle school, niggas start growing up a little bit more. Like <laughs> life came in a lot of motherfuckers fast. Like it was girls pregnant in middle school. Like, middle school shot at what all type the of shit. Fuck for real. Hey. Like, high school. I remember being in middle school and going to one of my sisters. She was she went to Dudley, so we went to a football game and niggas got to a shootout at the game. Dang! Oh, they living it up. Yeah, nah. They, they living life super fast. <laughs> Dang! So with that being around you, how have you adjusted, avoided, or whatever? It's kind of like you kind of just adapt. Like when certain shit happens, you know what to do, what not to do. 
hopefully some niggas don't learn fast enough. Yeah. Right. It's just like right. knowing when to do certain shit and when to not do certain shit. Right. You gotta like just see the signs. You gotta be able to read the rooms a lot here. Time and place for everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when did you get into music? Uh, really, it was like high school. Okay. I got a computer. I got Garage Band on that bitch, so I started making beats. And I'm like, shit, man, we could, we could make beats in this bitch. I used to watch That's little vlogs and shit every day. Like, yeah, I want to live like that. So once I got Garage Band, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to make beats. That's how I'm gonna do it. Dang. I'm pulling niggas up to my crib. We recording this shit. Like all of my homies, we recorded songs in middle school and high school, and them shit's not good. But we having fun, so we in there, bitch, loving that shit. Do you still have all of them, like, on a hard drive? I think I got one song. Oh, man. That shit, that shit all right, too. Okay, okay. In the closet. Do you, um, were you, like, uploading them to YouTube, too? Nah, we was just keeping Oh, damn, okay, yeah, okay. Playing them for everybody, like, So I say, y'all go check out that bullshit. No, saying, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that. Uh, nah, yeah, they ain't let me post the bullshit. I would, too. Nah, I got, it's the same for me, but we were, like, making videos, like, corny-ass videos yeah. back in the day type shit, and. We had them, but they gone now. I don't even know. You got to start somewhere. Right. Um, and so, okay, so you mentioned that you have a project. You have a project that just dropped, right? Yeah, Sound Search. Sound. Uh, everywhere right now. And Monday, it dropped Monday. Yeah, What's that date? my birthday. April 15th. April 15th. That's your birthday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang. Happy birthday, bro. Been my dog. Dang. What did you do for your birthday? Uh, No crazy shit. I just go out to eat with my family, go to the studio, record and shit. <laughs> right, <dude. laughs> Oh.